Namaste and welcome to episode 8 of Flutter App Write tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to complete the transactions crude. So in the last episode, we were able to list our transactions from database and display them in our application. So in this episode, we'll be able to add new transactions, edit the existing transaction, delete the existing transaction and view details of the transactions like descriptions. So let us get started. The very first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to make the transaction details for that in inside features transactions presentation create a folder called pages and inside that let's create a file called transaction details dot dot so this file let me import material and this will be a stateless widget with the scaffold In the body instead of single child scroll view I'd like to use list view children and we need to get a transaction object from parent so transaction transaction let's create a constructor finally once we have the transaction would like to display so first we'll display the title title is style theme of context text theme dot headline 3 let's say and let's show the date and Let's show the amount amount dot to a string style theme of context dot text theme dot headline four dot copy copy with font page bold give it a black color and above title let's just use text date format dot y m m m e t dot format transaction date let's text align dot right right now we have our basic details page ready we would like to link it with our with our routes so let's go to core routes and here let's create another transaction details transaction details and here transaction details return transaction details and transaction will be settings dot arguments okay and finally in the transaction list on list style on tap on tap what we would like to do is push named context route name is app routes dot transaction details and arguments will be this transaction 
this will be the argument okay now we just hot restart and tap one of the transaction so here we should see the transaction details page let's make few changes add padding Sixteen point padding on all sides. So transaction date is displayed here. Let's give it some styling. Text style. Font size. Let's give it eighteen point zero. Okay. Tuesday, May twenty sixth, nineteen seventy. Looks good. Clothes and the transaction amount is displayed here and description so finally we need to display the description let's give it a height of 10 points and text description if transaction dot description is not equal to null and then transaction dot description is not is not empty only then we will display the description i think this doesn't have the description so let me try this one with the description let's give it a styling now just give font size of 18.0 Okay, looks good. So this is our simple detail space. Next, we would like to be able to add new transaction. Now, let us create add transaction page. So inside pages of transaction feature, create new page. Add transaction so let's import material and let's create a widget give app bar title add transaction and body let's use list view children so let me convert this into a stateful widget. Convert to a stateful widget. The first, I'd like to have, I'd like to link this. So in routes, let's add add transaction. And down here, add transaction. Okay, I need to rename this first. My widget should be add transaction page. Now in transaction in home dot dart let me add a floating action button on trust push named route name app routes dot add transaction I can start add okay now let me hot restart okay let's tap plus I'm at the add transaction page so first thing I'd like to add here is the choice so users should be able to choose whether the transaction is expense or income 
or we can add the more transaction types later but for now I'll use in command expense row children expanded child radio list tile group value will be our transaction type which we'll declare le uh, later this value would be say 2 and title will be text expense expense on changed val set state let's declare this transaction type in it is state transaction type equals to 2 by default and let's make a copy of this so this will be our and value will be 1 one or two we can select the transaction type next after the transaction type I'd like to add text fields so let's add text field we'll provide it a controller title controller in text title and next is amount controller amount keyboard type text input type dot number and next one will be description description controller let's give it max lines 3 Next, we need to pick a transaction date. First date. So let's declare today. Uh, let's declare a few variables. Text editing. Title amount description okay. mm. title controller text editing controller and description amount next transaction date today so initialize those variables date also now okay now down here in calendar date picker first date will be today dot year minus five so I just want to be able to pick data five years back last date 
here plus five. Or I can just do today here because while adding transactions, I don't want to be able to pick the future debts. Okay. And initial date will be transaction date. And on date changed will be set step t date equals to date. Now uh, we have date picker as well. So I hot restarted so that we can see the changes. So now we have different fields and date picker. Let me adjust a little. Let me give this a padding. Padding of eight points. And let me give a distance between these text fields. So 10, 10, 10, 10. Now let's add a save button. is button child text save on pressed I think so while when we press the button we would like to save the transaction okay so let's get the user ID State. Okay, let's import provider. Okay. The user ID. Let's create a transaction object. Will not transaction. Will not do the validation for now. So title title controller dot text amount int parse amount controller dot text and description description controller dot text transaction date t date and type transaction type transaction type user id user id created at date time dot now updated at date time dot now so we have the transaction object let's get the transaction state transaction state okay finally ts dot add Okay, add transaction, transaction. So we need to create this add transaction method navigator.pop. Once the add is successful, we'd like to pop. 
so let's go to notifiers transaction state and add our add transaction method so here future add transaction transaction async method let's try catch e for now print e response await db dot create document so here we'll create document collection id is collection id then our data will be transaction dot to json and in read we'll give the permission to current user user dollar transaction dot user id and same for the write permission user colon user id okay finally So here we have okay we do not have the list of transactions here so we need to make few more modifications so what we need to do is we need to create a list of transaction variable here so that whenever we add a new transaction variable it is immediately displayed but for now let me just do this save and let's do it here let me hot restart create new transaction let's say it is expense apples amount let's say 500 description let's keep it empty for now and let's pick the transaction date as previous date and let's press save okay we have a error converting object to encodable object fell instance of date time so something is not right in let's check the transaction model data model transaction so here to json function okay created at and updated at should be milliseconds since epoch milliseconds since epoch transaction t transaction date where is transaction date should also be milliseconds since epoch okay i have to make few adjustments here so we need to remove this permissions collection and id from to json so we do not need this in our data let's save this hot restart one last time and let's add amount 500 500 let's pick the date press save and it is saved so we can do, do hot restart to check whether or not it's saved see our new transaction is listed here so it's not good to have to be have to hot restart every time we add new transactions so what we need to do is we need to make few adjustments in our transaction state so in transaction state let us create a new 
variable list of transaction underscore transactions let's make a getter underscore transactions and let's rename this to get transactions not this one okay once we get the transaction instead of returning on this code transaction we'll save this to transactions and notify listeners and in initially we'll do underscore transactions equals empty okay and in our transaction list page so our transaction are not displaying here so in transactions list wizard what we will do is instead of this we will get the list of transactions from from transactions transaction step let me remove this future builder so instead of future builder we will simply return list view dot builder okay. now this should give us the same result and now in add transactions what we can do is transactions dot add from json response dot data finally notify listener so that whenever we add new transactions we it gets automatically added to our transactions list in the transaction state and it is displayed here so okay initially in transactions list sorry in transaction state we need to call get transactions so that transaction is automatically get for the first time when the app starts so hot restart okay now add transaction adding let's say 1000 let's give a date of 22 save so here it is listed so we are able to add transaction now the final piece we need to be able to edit and update our existing transactions and for that we will use the same add transaction page and make the modifications so in add transaction page first thing we'd like to be able to do is pass in the transaction to edit transaction okay and in the state what we would like to do is we like to create is edit so whether or not to check if it's edit mode so is edit is true when z dot transaction is not equal to null and transaction type so in initialization we need to check whether it's edit if it's edit then transaction dot transaction type otherwise t 
to title controller text again is edit transaction dot title otherwise null same here text otherwise null edit otherwise null transaction date again is edit transaction date otherwise date time dot now we have it ready we need now let's set up route for edit routes add transaction edit transaction transaction page this time will pass transaction that will be setting start arguments now we have the route set up in transaction list when we long tap so on tap on long press push name App route start add transaction so now we can navigate to edit transaction on while long pressing this so long press this and now in edit transaction let's hot restart let's long press this we are not getting the titles yet let me check okay we are arguments we are passing the arguments not add transaction but edit transaction so hot restart long press okay we have some error initial date is before initial date yes so this is for old transaction so let's check this so we can get the details here now in save method we need to make some adjustments in save so if it's edit so here instead of add transaction what we can check is if is edit we need to add transaction sorry we need to update transaction else we need to add transaction here we need update transaction and here for updating transaction we need the id so is edit transaction dot id otherwise this should be null and in transaction state we finally need to create update transaction update transaction function so here let's create a update transaction function update transaction let me copy this Okay. and instead of create document we use update document collection ID and for update document we need one more field document ID is transaction.id 
and let's create so our updated transaction will be transaction dot from json rest dot data and here underscore transactions equal to list transaction from we need to update it locally so if e dot id equals equals id then we give we replace with updated otherwise we just return e let me rename this e2 transaction finally we can notify the listeners let me hot restart let's test whether or not it is working so let's try i bought apples let's just add new text here and let's change the amount to 5000 let's press save so it's not working let me hot restart whether or not that changes the title okay it has not so let's check here add transaction if is edit we pass in id and we also call the update transaction method update transaction should replace if transaction dot id is equal to updated dot id we replace it with updated otherwise this should work this let just change some text let's press save okay somehow it's not working let me it might be printing some error messages let's check debug console invalid arguments replacement must not be null hey there is some problem so collection id document id data read write So I think there is problem with this request so let me just tab save it's not going here let me go here let's put a breakpoint here and in error so tab save here let's check the value of transaction do we have everything okay collection null id null permissions null we don't care that description okay id is coming as null so that should not have happened okay i have some error in my transaction state so here in from json this this id is not dollar id but we need a escape character because dollar in dart gives makes this as variable which is not declared and so null so let me hot restart now and now if i change this so it is hanged let me just rebuild this let's 
running. Let's long tap this. Let's just change on whatever. Save. So it's updated. Finally, I would like to be able to delete the transaction. So for now, let's add the delete transaction in transaction details. So in transaction details in app bar, let's use actions icon button icon start delete on press. Transaction state dot not reset. We pass in transaction. Let me import this. Let me import provider and now let's create delete transaction function transaction Print error db dot delete document collection id is collection id document id is transaction dot id and finally transactions this transaction dot from where id is not equal to transaction dot id so what we are doing here is locally from our transactions list we are filtering out our transaction that is deleted if it was deleted so notify listeners finally let me go to the details and let's tap delete and come back so this should be done so in transaction details after delete transaction is successful let's async let's await and finally here navigator dot pop so that when delete transaction is successful we get back so tap here we get back and the transaction is gone so this is all for this episode thank you everyone for listening see you again in the next tutorial thank you